One thing that I've already uh, had a hard time with is picking your battles. You really do got to pick your battles. I remember uh, we was in, we was up north and somewhere in California, someplace raggedy. I think we was uh, doing some comedy in like a barn, like, but it wasn't a barn no more, but it started out as a barn. It was me, the homie Shevsky, and the homie Sandro. I, I love the motherfuckers. Them's my dogs though. He was on the road and we went up to this place and it was fun, you know, we was having a good time. It wasn't a very big crowd, but like there was a couple people there and we got there early and they had this like little area out back and me and Sandro were out there and we took some pictures. They had this little cage set up, which was crazy. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, it was in the middle of nowhere, really a lot of white people, but like cool, they, everybody was cool. I remember um, that we, I was outside and I was talking to one of the waitresses and I think it was me and Sandro and I think she was getting like our drink order or something. Bus boy came up. I was in the middle of helping Sandro to explain to the the lady that I was a black albino. You know what I'm saying? I like what that meant. And she was trying to, you know, she was she was taking it. You know, I could tell that it was like it made sense to her, but still she was like, that's crazy. And then the bus boy came up. And like he had to ask a question, but he kind of overheard what, what what we were talking about, and he was like, "Oh shit, you mean like that albino monkey, <laughs> white lady face?" She, she like she was like, "What? Huh? Uh, somebody? Huh? Somebody said what?" Sandra was like, "Wow." I was like, "Well, not you know, not exactly." And then the lady cut me off. She was like, "You don't." Oh man, you know, just it's a genetic thing, man. He just doesn't have dude just cut her off. And he was like, I know what you're talking about, like the monkey. Like you like the monkey, right? You're like the monkey? Monkey? Now, I'm this has happened to me before. People say some raggedy things. Sometimes I interject, uh, and sometimes I just like let it you know what I mean? Cause I can't be it happens so often, I can't say something every single time, dog. Like that's all I would be just walking around correcting motherfuckers. I ain't got time for that. So I realized that dude just stupid. You know what I mean? Like maybe he's also racist, but right now this is stupidity. This isn't, I hate black people or I'm trying to be offensive. I'm a dumb some bitch. You know what I mean? Like, so he, he didn't, he did, it wasn't registering. It was, I was just like, you know, I, you know, he just turned around. He's like, yeah. And I was like, all right then. And she was like, I, I am so sorry. We do not. Do you want a drink? Would you like to take home a chair or something? And I was like, man, I'm good. It's all good. And then uh, and then she left. Sandro was like, I can see that he, he was having a problem. Sandro is one of the quickest on his feet comedians that I've ever met in my entire life. He's one of the funniest dudes on the planet. He was just stumped. He, he was just looking down at the ground. It was crazy. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, man, it's, it's crazy when it happens like that. And he's like, the problem that I'm having is not that it happened. That was crazy in and of itself. But that it's happened so many times that you're not having a reaction to it. It's happened too many times. It's That's unacceptable. He was not okay for like an hour. He was like, I'm so unhappy about people right now. Later on, that busboy did come up to me and he like, he was like, hey man, um, I, I ain't even mean to do that. Like, I, it was not even, I ain't even, again, stupid. So he was trying to, he like, he don't know how to, how to, he don't know how to just say, my bad. He came up, he's like, man, because I like, yeah, I love black people. I got black friends. And I'm like, I know what you're trying to do. And that's what I would do had I been in that situation. But that's not, no, you think it's helping, but there's like, there's no help is what I'm saying. Just be like, oh man, that's my fault. I'm stupid. That's, <laughs> I'm gonna go get some learnings. Come back at you though. You know what I'm saying? That's all it had to be. But he, you know, I mean, he tried, he tried. 18 year old me probably would have, you know, uh, suplexed him and then just gone to jail crying. 35-year-old me didn't do none of that. It just was like, that's crazy. You know, my soul hurt a little bit, but you know, it's cool. It's whatever. But yeah, man, you got to pick your battles. You know what I'm saying?